Welcome back to Talk of the Town. I'm Kim Piazza. And I'm Phil Arno. And because this show, Talk of the Town, is a little bit like the Beauty and the Boss, I get to uh, suggest subjects for the future. And I, I think that this is an important conversation. What I'd like to do is I'd like to make this open-ended. We'll have you guys back, and we'll talk about this again. And I think if we can hope for a result, it would be that we could get a movement started in Western New York where we can give voice to various groups that are in the inner city or not, anywhere in Western New York, that want to march for peace, that want to knock on doors and say, hey, you got to you know, get rid of the drugs in this neighborhood. We want to make this a movement and see if we can make a difference because everybody can talk about this, but the solutions are hard to come by and maybe we can help. Maybe we can give voice to it. I don't think they're as elusive as, as we think we are. Uh, one of the unique things about Buffalo that, that I can speak from from personal experience is uh, there's great leadership uh, in this region. Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Reverend Pridgen uh, in the city, what, what we do in the suburbs, the, the communication uh, between us is very strong. Uh, when, when we deal with each other, we deal with each other from respect. We, we don't dismiss the other's concern. We listen to the other person's point of view. There are no, uh, Sharpton's been brought up a number of times, there are no flamethrowers in Western New York. We have reasonable people uh, who, who want to find the solutions and want to work together to get there. So I think we're moving forward, we're in pretty good shape. Reverend, th that's fine and, and on your level, there's a lot of cooperation. That message and, and it has to get has to filter down. A absolutely, and I think that shows like this and the media in general, you know, when Buffalo News uh, was accused by the African-American community of unfair reporting, I'll never forget uh, when Sue Shulman uh, came to, uh, this, to the city by herself, listened to people, and then at the end said, I was both shocked and moved and made some changes. That's how you get uh, to a better uh, community, and I think this station could really help that. And Paul, the message, uh, to a certain extent, is we have to start to take the politics and the uh, inflammatory rhetoric out of the message. Well, and that's obviously a difficult thing because there is that economic incentive to media outlets and people. But if you to, shine a light on that, to it takes away part of the exploit. Well, I agree with that. There, there is some encouragement, though. I think that we've come a long way. Uh, there's a lot of pieces to the fix. Uh, my little 11-year-old, this is, I think, is great. She, I've heard her call people out if they say something that tends to be racial. That never happened in my generation or the two generations after mine. And I hear that from my 11-year-old, which means something good's happening in the schools. Uh, to try to help that. I think, so it's yeah, a respect. Culture. I think the culture is improving. Something education. good is happening at home. Right, and I, I misspoke the name. Sue Shulman was not the person, it was the editor of the Buffalo News who just left. I don't want Sue uh, to think I was talking about her, uh, the editor who <laughs> mm -hmm. just left. Yeah. I think as a parent, that's good parenting. Margaret. Margaret. Yeah. Margaret, Sullivan. Margaret Sullivan. 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 Yes, yes, I apologize. Yeah, well, the parent part is obviously important. There's some places where you have only one parent in the home, they're working and so you don't have that. So now you need some other group, whether it be school or religion or what have you, to take that place and to try to, you know, no, do as that. As you said, there's a lot of elements to this discussion. Yep. And we can't do it in an hour, but we will follow up on it. And Well, I can't wait to have each one of you back. And we want to take a minute and just once more <laughs> introduce our panel as we're going out. Chief David Zack, the Chief Tawaga Police Chief, and of course in, on Union Road, and I'm sure that anytime anybody needs anything from your police department, <laughs> <laughs> you 
kind of oh, touch. Oh, you yeah. just opened up Being the floodgate. The pressure is on. on. Well, how, how, how I don't remember that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Unless your name is Paul Cambria. And over here on the end, we have Paul Cambria from Lips Green, Chimay, and Cambria. You said and Chimay correctly. Wonderful. Who, who represents <laughs> Al Sharpton. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And, of course, uh, you can find Paul on Delaware Avenue in Buffalo. And... Reverend Darius Pridgen, who is um, the, the head of True Bethel Baptist Church, and you have various one locations. One of the voices of reason yes. in Western New York. So we really appreciate here in that. He's making York. a cameo and, on the on variety uh, and telephone. And Reverend yes. Pridgen is the president of the Buffalo Common Council in City Hall, and our city is so lucky and blessed to have men like you this is why western new york this is why buffalo is the city of good neighbors thank you so much for being with us here today thank you very much thank you for viewing uh, we hope you all enjoy wbbz television and talk of the town we'll be back next week and we'll have another subject perhaps a little bit later yeah